one FX DX T Sport. <clears throat> the VIN number is a T Sport. I am missing the upper and lower triple clamps, the fairing, and the bags. Got the bag mounts though. Uh, it's just the way I bought it. It's a 103 stroker motor. The crank has been welded and balanced CP pistons. The heads are Screaming Eagle. Uh, they have been CNC ported with a one mil oversized valve on the intake stock exhaust. Uh, Screaming Eagle coil, Dynatech TC88 ignition. I'm running the 26B map. It's like 11 to 1 compression. I do not have any kind of detonation issues. It runs fine. Just got to add some fuel. Steering stabilizer, fork brace. I have wave rotors. For the front, I'm missing one. It's on its way. Be here next week. Chain conversion went one down in the rear sprocket or front sprocket. That was a bad idea with the five speed. Um, tons of bottom end. I mean, this thing you could shift as fast as you possibly can shift and it will not bog or lag. But top speed is not there. So when I'm cruising with a pack and they're doing 130 or 20, it ain't happening for me. Uh, Screaming Eagle heavy duty clutch with the extra disc, heavy duty spring, it's garbage, I'm going to have to do a lock up, it has this weird lag, running the Michelin, um, retire, this is a really sticky retire, love it, uh, running the integrated brake light tail light, I did gold pinstriping with the white, the theme of this bike is going to be gold and white. Um, eventually with some chrome added into it so everything aluminum I'm gonna have sent out an anodized gold to hopefully match my pro tapers hard case risers uh, adjustable clutch and brake lever these levers are badass I found them on I think eBay or Amazon and uh, they're the only ones out there I can find they work great I have long fingers um, so made me feel more like my motocross bike which that's what I was looking for. Got a chin spoiler, SNS 585 cam with the cam plate, the high output oil pump, Roland Sands clear intake. Um, bought that on eBay for 150 bucks. Screaming Eagle 45 millimeter TN carburetor, Screaming Eagle heads. This bike's an absolute rocket ship. It's as fast as Harley I've ever ridden. 13 and a half inch rear shocks by Works. They work fine. They're a little soft. They're a, um, uh, what do you call it? Like a multi-rate spring or whatever, progressive spring. So you got the, the stiffer spring and the softer spring here. Uh, pretty easy to adjust when I have my wife on the back. I got the heavy duty starter because um, of the compression. I think it's like 11 to one. Uh, one of the cooler features on this bike is it is a true HID headlight system. The longer it's on, the brighter it gets. It has a separate box that's underneath the seat. And I do not have high beam. It's either off or on. I don't really get high beamed at because the light is, I think it's soft enough, it doesn't bug people. Uh, I put titanium exhaust wrap on it, MX foot pegs, I bought those on Amazon. I was really, I wanted the flows, but man, they're expensive. And this company just came out, they're fucking dope. Um, they remind me of my motocross pegs. They're 89 bucks, so I couldn't beat that deal. I don't think they'll break, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, so hit me up in the comments section. Tell me what you think about this bike. It might be up for sale. I don't know. We'll see. Motor's fresh. This bike made 112 horsepower, 120 foot pounds of torque, and that's with the 585 cam. I talked to uh, Woods, and he has a cam and valve spring combo he said this with the motor combination i got with the head combination and you know everything i got he says 130 horsepower all day long and it'll be relatively reliable so tell me what you think